Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of things. There are new titles for Episode 14, 15, and 16. We've also got some major returning characters, but also we got a synopsis for next week's episode. Well, it's not next week, next episode, because Supergirl is actually on a break. The Flash actually comes back this week, so be on the lookout for that, but Supergirl will come back in a few weeks time with Back From The Future Part 2. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay so let's go ahead and talk about the topics for today's video. So first off we're going to be talking about the new titles that have been announced for episode 14, 15 and 16. I briefly mentioned the episode 16 title which was revealed via Canada Graphs. I believe it was about a week ago from when today's video is going up so please be sure to check out Canada Graphs on Twitter and his blog. But anyway so episode 14 of season 5 is now officially titled The Bodyguard. So what could this mean? So the first thing that popped to mind is potentially this has something to do with Lex Luthor. It could have something to do with you know the previous bodyguards that we've had in the past. We know they're returning in the 100th episode, so those were Mercy and Otis Graves, but they both got killed, although they are, you know, making a cameo in the 100th episode from Leaks. However, probably not to do with them, and the gist that I got was this could be something to do with Lex Luthor. What if it's Supergirl's duty to protect Lex, although obviously, you know, he has some sort of devious intent behind whatever he's planning, However, you know, she is obliged to do that because he is extremely well regarded in this new version of the Earth where, you know, he's in control of the DEO, he's a man of very high status, essentially. So, what do you think about that? I think that theory is kind of plausible, but, you know, I think the bodyguard is pretty much an open letter right now. It could really be to do with anything as of right now, but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Episode 15 of Season 5 is titled reality bites and not bites as in bites like how you would say oh I bit into that but bites as in like gigabytes or megabytes and stuff like that so the impression that this title actually gives off is very much so in the vein of say Mr. Mixer's Spillick. I think this could be the return of Mixy because you know we got the casting announcement that they were recasting him someone you know who was American and just the fact that the character would return and you know it sort of plays in line with his character that he can change appearance so it doesn't matter that they obviously recast him that's what they said when they released the announcement a whole while back and you know I don't really agree with them recasting however I am really excited to see Mixie back you know whether it's our version from season two or not so I think Reality Bites is sort of a reference to, you know, what's reality and Bites is in, you know, is this real, is this not, you know, could this be in like a digital world, could it be made up? So I think that's what the title is in reference to. And then episode 16, like I mentioned the other day, is titled Alex in Wonderland. This is the episode where we see Alex in the Supergirl suit, which is like reversed and, you know, it's blue and it's black and it's really actually really cool. However, you know, it's kind of crazy and the title itself is obviously like Alice in Wonderland so you can tell that this is not going to be in, you know, whoever's vision it is, it's not going to be in like a normal version of reality, it's going to be a twisted version of reality, hence why Alex is in a different version of Supergirl's suit, why she's got like a black wig on, why she's got the same kind of hair as Kara, but obviously this is not Alex and this version of Alex does have superpowers. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to those episodes a lot, especially the Alex in Wonderland episode, because I'm really looking forward to the explanation as to what's going on there. So let's move on to talk about the synopsis for Back from the Future Part 2, which comes back in a few weeks' time. And this is how it goes. Brainy must choose between Alex and Lex. Jeremy Jordan guest stars Supergirl, helps win, faces greatest fear. After Alex sets out to find evidence against Lex. Brainy must decide between helping his friend or continuing to secretly work with Lex. So this is coming on the 16th of February. So like I said, just over two weeks until we get the return of Supergirl because they decided to go on another break. But this is a continuation from last episode, which was Back from the Future Part 1. Saw the return of Windshot, and this is going to continue along that storyline 
with Wynn, and Wynn's going to be a massive part of this episode, and Wynn's final episode for this season will be the episode after, episode 13, which is the 100th episode, and it's going to be massive, but this episode is really, you know, the second chance for them to complete Wynn's story that they've planned, and so, you know, in relation to the synopsis, basically what it said is he has to be able to face his greatest fear with the help of Supergirl, and I don't know what his greatest fear is. I can't seem to think as to exactly what it could be. Maybe it's something to do with, you know, his future life, maybe his kids, maybe his wife, maybe something happens, he has to risk it. Obviously last episode he was totally freaking out over the chance of maybe losing them. What happens if, you know, something else could happen to them, and, you know, he would lose it, and maybe that is one of his greatest fears, being able to, you know, lose what he loves, essentially. So I'm not sure as to what's happening with Win in this episode, but leave your thoughts in the comments down below as to what you think's going on. Okay, so the next part of the synopsis, Brainy must choose between Alex and Lex, you know, helping a friend or continuing to secretly work for Lex. So obviously he was told by the other version of Brainiac, he has to work with Lex. I think that he will come to the realization, oh, I gotta work with Alex rather than Lex because this is the right thing to do rather than you know, the Brainiac sort of logical way of, you know, it has to be done this way no matter the consequences because that's the way of the future and it has to be sort of mechanically thought rather than thinking about your emotions and, you know, going to help Alex say maybe this plan of Lex's actually impacts on Alex or Supergirl or anything like that and, you know, you saw that last episode with him and his struggle due to Toyman being released and, you know, he wasn't able to do anything about it. Toyman was basically trying to kill Wynn and, you know, everyone was in danger because of him basically working with Lex, actually helping Toyman escape in the first place. So he's obviously at some sort of moral crossroads right now and I think that he will have, you know, a moment in this episode where he will have this big epiphany where he's like, nah, fuck Lex, I'm going to be working for Alex now. I'm going to be working with my friends. And so the other part of the synopsis, Alex sets out to find evidence against Lex. So obviously our main characters know that this version of Lex is not a good guy, even though everyone else in the world thinks he's good. So Alex is finding some sort of way of exposing him and sort of revealing who he is to the world. I don't know what path she's going to go down, but I'm sure she's going to find something. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So the next thing is some returning characters who are going to be coming back. You know, this is really exciting to me because I was a massive fan of the Midvale episode, you know, a while back, and I love seeing these two return. But also, it's a shame that young Kara's not coming back, but Olivia Nakanan, who plays young Alex, is returning, and also Helen Slater's returning, aka, you know, Eliza Danvers. And so they are returning in an episode and they are, you know, so welcome to come back because they are so good and so loving and it's just honestly perfect every time they show up. And so Vidovic isn't actually confirmed to return as young Kara as of right now, but the other two are and I really hope that Isabella returns as well because seeing Olivia and Isabella working together, you know, I think it's absolutely perfect. They're the perfect sort of parallels to Kyla and Melissa as, you know, the older versions and the present day versions of Supergirl and Alex, or Kara and Alex, and so yeah, I'm extremely excited to see the return of Olivia Nakanan. I don't know what episode it is, but it's in the next few episodes sometime around then, and also you have the bonus of Helen Slater returning. She returns quite a lot compared to the other two, you know, she pops up, I don't know, like two episodes every season normally. And normally has a fairly significant role, whatever reason she turns up for. So, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any videos later this year. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.